Hey, so you looks back again. Oh, yeah, we're back again. Yeah, back, back, back in the house, 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 back, 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 back. We're back with Tiny Core. 4.1 just been released. Remember, I looked at the release candidate a while ago and been waiting for it to come out properly. It is well hard, I tell you. It's real good. It's even faster than it was before. Latest kernel, bloody, 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 blah, blah, all that. Updated busy box, but we're going to have a check that out in a minute, okay? As you can see, I've been doing some installing here, as you can see, but we'll come to that in a minute. I'll go through the main menu with you. So basically, this is your little eyebrow or your widget bar. Exit, a terminal, an apps audit, a text editor. Configure your panel. Basically, if you've seen TinyCore before, you know exactly what this looks like. So backup, restore, date and time, network, wbar config. So you can put that at the top, down the bottom, left to the right. If you've got wallpapers, you can put them in the wallpaper section. So you can do some wallpapering and stuff like that. Set up your screen resolution and your keyboard and mess. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, what if I, a basic run command? That's pretty good. Oh, don't forget your app browser, which we'll come back to in a little while. Okie dokie. There's my mounted drive, because we've got all this stuff installed to me drive, and I like. Now, remember a long time ago, I asked for a GUI installer, and they gave it to me. A really nice chap down there, tiny car, aren't they? Really. Also got Abbey Word. Ooh, yes. So look, one click, it's there. Oh, it's how quick that was. Now, I've got oh, not got all the extensions for it just yet, because I've not got around to it, playing with it enough, but it's 268. I can do with that one. That's what it says on the tin, doesn't it? You can do your stuff. Okay. You've also got easy remaster. Basically, you can remaster your own tiny core. So basically, put it in your machine, right? I like, oh. You put it in your machine, blah, 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 blah. You put all the apps on it you want, and then off you go. Make your disc. All you do, pass the tiny core or micro ISO or the mounted CD. So it'll be mount HTC if it was uh, installed or temporary tiny core ISO if it's on the disc, okay? And pass to the temporary directory for doing it. And he's already put it in for you. And just click next. And off you go. Bloody easy peasy. So for you chaps out there thinking, I really want Tiny Core, but, but 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 I want all the programs on it before I start off when I go around people's houses or I'm at work or I want to show off somewhere, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is how you can do it. So that's really good, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh, I'm running out of breath already because I'm so happy. But unfortunately, I can't get Junior to work at the moment, so it's missing a dependency along the line, so I'll have to go and have a little butchers at that point. I might leave him a link actually. Inkscape light I've put in there. There you go. See how nice and quick it is. Oh, lovely, super. Bit of a drinkage. Hang on. Mmm. <laughs> Beautiful and clean water. We also got pigeon here. I've not put all the extras of pigeon in, but they are there for you to use. A GTK record my desktop is here for you to use. Also, you will have to configure the sound though to get it working correctly, and put in all the other stuff for else and whatever. Don't get you left to do it before you even start to use it. Okay. Uh, also next to them we have <coughs> tiny core grub for dos for doing your grub oh yeah all, all there for you on the menu when you boot, boot up the multi-core now it's instead of just having to choose which one you want to go to it boots into this super duper tiny core okay so you get all this other stuff the tiny core install is there i'll just show you it for the gui see lovely lean diably <sighs> well i'm done by you oh sorry doing the video Anyway, you also get Wi-Fi as stand. So if you've got a Wi-Fi device, it'll check, 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 check you out. And you'll be able to go and do your Wi-Fi as standard in Tiny Core. Yes, as standard. Not an add-on, it comes with the disk. Even if you just get the multi-core disk, that's only 47 megabytes of stuff for multi-core, right? Or it's just one basic Tiny Core, it's 10 point something now. I don't know, 10 point something. But yeah. Just get the multi-core and you can never have to play with like three different types and type uh, micro-core as well. Because micro-core is quite good as well. Anyway, me going on a bit much, didn't I? Oh yeah, so right, we'll open Chromium up and we'll actually go to the site, okay? And have a little look in the book. So if I put it in the top there, tiny core. And see where it takes us in Linux, should we? It takes us to tiny core. And here it is, the latest and greatest. Basically, continued the upgrades and done lots of other stuff. New BusyBox, new libs, free type and sudo, all done. The improved support for microcore includes one demand. Super duper duper duper. I'm loving it. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. No, I'm loving it, really. I'm loving it. I hate that, don't you? Anyway, yes, so that's all upgraded for you to use Hunky Dory Super Great. Right, finally, if you've never seen Tiny Core before, it's tiny. I mean, it boots up in like. Ooh, light speed and shuts down in twice the speed of light and stuff like that okay so I'm gonna to go to the app browser and just show you we're gonna connect and this is how you install stuff okay 
So you just basically choose that. I'm going to choose the plugins for every word because that shouldn't be too big, okay? It's only 1.3 meg. I'm basically, yeah, 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 I want that, I want that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you're only using it from the live CD, by the way, this is how you do it, okay? Because it runs totally in RAM. So if I want the apps, the all add ons, I'll just click go. It's now going to download them and install them for me. So I'll get Babel, Fish, Claris, Works, like up here, Dogbook, EML. Translation, Gimpy, Google, <gasps> Open Document, Open Writer, Open XML, Palm. I oh, just don't use Palm. Yeah, okay. Script Happy and other stuff, indeed. Oh, Wikipedia. So it supports all this other stuff in Abbey Word. Okay, so that's all right, though. Another drinkage, if you hold on that. Goddamn second. Hmm. Right, it's just finishing downloading now. So it should all be super great in a second. Oh. We're well, just getting to it in the end. One thing I have found though, it may be me, or it may be my network connection. It shouldn't be though, because I'm right next to the telephone exchange, almost about 50 meters away. Downloading via Ethernet is not as fast as it used to be. So I might have to check my driver out for that. Ah, and there's all my plugins for Abbey Word. So if we close him down now, we're going to open Abbey Word up. We should have all our extra extensions. So if I go to save as, type of files and they're all there look at them super duper great you know what i'm saying yeah good cool okay i'm doing fives this week you know as you notice i'm doing a lot of fives time to call 4.1 you've got to go and get it even if you only get the 10 meg one just go and get it put it in have a laugh and have a play it's super sneaky links out is it five kick all serious it's five Think it out see you later bye bye